Today is June 30th, 2015, and it's 2.43 a.m., and I'm watching uh, a pinkish and brownish uh, orange colored moon. Uh, it's, this is a, a rare event. Uh, usually when the, uh, when the moon is uh, this color, usually when the moon is uh, like around in this area, it's usually white, but today is a uh, 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 pinkish, orangish, or brownish. I don't know how good this is showing up on the camera because sometimes uh, when you take pictures of the moon, uh, the, the camera sometimes distorts the image. Now usually when I see the moon at this color, it usually starts off in the east over here. Uh, you know, when it, uh, when it uh, first rises, it's, and it, um, it's usually uh, very big at that time. Um, and then usually when the uh, moon, usually throughout the night, the moon arcs around and then becomes white, you know, comes go to the normal white color then arcs arcs all the way around the sky and then when it sets again it, it usually turns brown and big and brown when it sets in the west over here to the right but uh, not this time today uh, this moon is, uh, is brown or orange is orange throughout the night this goes along with what, uh, and, and when, I mean, the other time that I usually would see, uh, would maybe see a um, brown moon like this is when, uh, during an eclipse. Uh, but not, not this time, uh, right now there's no eclipse and the moon is not, um, setting to the west right now. It's just, it's just brown up here like another blood moon just another sudden blood moon or something uh, it's, in, it's very interesting and it, I mean it kind of goes along with a lot of we, we, I mean we've been having a lot of unusual uh, 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 thing, uh, patterns and, and weather happen and things happen as of lately for example we've been getting uh, well as of lately, we've been we we've already had three blood moons, um, and and we're, we're supposed to be due for another one in September. Uh, 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 and um, and then we've been having strange weather. Uh, for example, we've been uh, yesterday we had a, a very rare storm that came here through St. Louis, in which uh, they said that uh, I guess. The cold, the weather, the clouds that were causing, I mean, the front that was causing the storm was coming from the south. Uh, it was like cold air coming from the south instead of the north. Well, I mean, you know how north is, is, is cold and south is uh, is hot. Well, they said that, that the storm uh, cell was coming from the, uh, was coming from cold air from the south and uh, was uh, coming up here through St. Louis and that's what caused uh, a lot of uh, some, like I guess some tornadoes and, uh, and a big hailstorm here yesterday um, I mean some in strange weather like that and, and that and they say and they say they come from the back end of the, st of the storm instead of the front end I mean I mean and I guess um, so that's that's uh, odd you know that it doesn't usually happen Especially according to the weather, man. And then it's uh, we've been having like uh, you know um, summer has been some summers have been cold and and, and winters have been uh, a bit warm and there's a lot of strange stuff like that. You know, uh, we, we've been getting a lot of rain. Uh, what's it? Uh, it said record rainfalls the other day and. And yeah, it's just 
and a lot of unusual stuff like that. I mean, so and yet here again we have another uh, another rare event. Now I would call this a now they say the fourth blood moon is supposed to be during the during another eclipse in September, but this is a blood moon <laughs> in my book. This is also a blood moon. I mean, it's blood red. I mean, the moon right now is blood red. So, so this is this is a very rare event and very interesting. Now, nah, they were having these things. It seemed like a interesting period of time to live in. Okay, so, and, you know, so, and. So yeah, um, I mean, I got you know I have my theories on uh, on uh, what might be happening. For example, I personally believe I I believe that hey, hey this might be some biblical prophecies uh, being fulfilled or ancient prophecies being fulfilled. You know, predicted a long time ago. You know, uh, so that would, I mean that in itself is. Uh, is a uh, supernatural, I mean, phenomenal. Or it could be some UFO stuff, you know. I, I, I personally believe in all that stuff. I ain't gonna lie. I believe in it. I've seen plenty of stuff already. So. Yeah, so, that's, so that's. So we've been definitely getting a lot of uh, strange stuff. Lord knows what 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 is all is uh what's all what all this stuff is leading to. So so this is the blood moon. I mean this is the again the pink moon or pink orange. Uh, actually, I don't know how good this is gonna come out on camera because you know usually when taking pictures of the moon. Uh, Sometimes the picture comes out distorted. So, so that's my name is Henry Emfrey. This is St. Louis, Missouri, and again, this is the rare uh, brown, pinkish blood moon without an eclipse or anything else. It's just pink moon right here. Thank you.